So we're finally going to get to use the carbon fiber water table water bath plate. And I'm, I don't know what to expect. I'm kind of nervous for it. I know as soon as I start milling with the uh, carbide burr, that little guy, eighth inch carbide burr, it's going to get really dark in there. So that's why I got this water bottle with a hole in the end of it right there. And every once in a while, I'm going to go in there and spray all the, the carbon fiber dust away, basically. The, the water shouldn't go everywhere. At least it shouldn't. I hope it doesn't because it might mess up some other stuff. But we're going to keep it as contained as we possibly can. Okay, I'm going to start out with a drill. I probably shouldn't use a drill, but if I were to use a drill, it shouldn't be this drill because this is just an El Cheapo. Okay, that drill is dull now. On to the carbide burr. So I read up on this and everybody said take full depth of cut, the full depth of the sheet, and then go semi-fast, and but keep it one thousandths inch per tooth. Well, this has a million teeth on it. I don't know how. So I just figured if it was a four flute or something. So that was fun. I literally forgot to tighten the end mill in the collet. That is insane. I can't believe I just did that. I was too worried about everything else and I forgot to do the main thing. But anyway, it cut it a little bit. Still, even with the loose end mill in the collet, I have no idea how, but it cut it. You can sort of see it. So this time it should be better. I would imagine that we'll probably break it this time. And that's exactly what we did. Okay, round two, maybe a different camera angle will help. We'll be moving at 10,000 RPM and 10 inches a minute. So yeah, I can't see anything, but I was supposed to leave tabs in there and I don't know if it actually worked. Okay, the tabs are there, just not big enough. Holy smokes, it actually worked. It actually worked. This stuff is straight up nasty. I went ahead and made a new part from the first one that I did and moved it over, then I forgot to drill the holes that go here. So this is a carabiner, if you didn't already know by the title of this video. But yeah, a wire gate goes in there to open it, but I forgot to drill the holes for this one. So I will probably try and manually do it for this one, but I'm gonna go ahead and make one more of these things for now. So my final speeds and feeds with the carbon fiber with that eighth inch carbide burr was roughly, it was 10,000 RPM and eight inches a minute. And that was at a depth of cut of 0.2 inches. I'm sure I could have gone the full depth of 0.25 inches, but I, I got scared because I had two carbide burrs and then I broke the first one really quick. So I wanted to be more conservative with the second one. So that, that's what I did. I shouldn't have used straight up water in the water bath for the carbon fiber because now everything's probably going to rust. What I should have done was put some coolant in there instead of just the water by itself because that would have helped keep the rust down if this is to rust. So this is some 332nd 01 tool steel rod and we are going to use this to make the swinging gate for the carabiner. I'm going to attempt to use the press brake here as much as I can just because it, the bends are a lot nicer when I use this type of thing rather than say just using pliers or hitting it with a hammer when it's in the vise.
Yeah, so this didn't really work out how I had planned. It looks cool. I just don't think this little swing gate thing right here, the spring gate, is how it should be. I mean, it's fairly tight when I do that. And we're off just a little bit because I had to bend this with pliers instead of the press brake because I don't have enough room to get each bend in there with the press brake. I don't know, it just ended up being easier with the needle nose pliers and bending it by hand and sort of measuring as I went. Which is disappointing, but that's how it is, I guess. So I think I'm going to call it here. I'm going to revise this drawing and make these holes offset from each other to keep this sprung forward. But I think that was a good start to the carbon fiber carabiner. It sucks to waste this kind of stuff just because I know that this is fairly expensive. The carbon fiber that is. I guess that's how it goes sometimes and we just, we'll figure it out. But I guess that's the price you gotta pay for getting a prototype down. Now I have the 3D printer and I 3D printed this to check it and it checked out okay. But that's still nothing like the actual real real material, real piece. But so far it's been an adventure cutting with carbon fiber. So we'll get this thing changed up and we'll go from there. I probably won't make another video on it, I'll just change it on the fly. If you want to keep up with the stuff that I'm doing, follow me on my Instagram account. I think it's mojo.mfg on Instagram. But I think that's it for now, so thanks for watching.